Hey y'all, what's good, what's poppin'? I'm so excited to come at y'all with this video today. Today we're gonna be doing a review, a demo, and a wear test on the new Patrick Ta Major Sculpt Cream, Contour, and Powder Bronzer Duo. I have mine here in the medium shade She Sculpted. If y'all know, recently I had picked up the Patrick Ta Major Headlines Cream and Powder Blush Duo, and I was a big fan of that. And when I saw that Patrick Ta was releasing this bronzer duo, I knew I had to pick it up. So I went ahead and ordered it as soon as it dropped, and I finally got mine today, and I'm currently wearing it right now so I'm so excited to get into this review for y'all I can't wait to try out the product give you all my first impressions and show you all how it looks so that's what today's video is gonna be we're gonna be doing a full review demo and wear test on this new bronzer duo before we get into it though I do just want to say thank you to all my new and returning subscribers out there thank you all so much for sticking around supporting my content and helping me to grow my channel if you are new here and you haven't already just be sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell button as well so that you can get a notification every time I upload a new video and with that being said let's get into it it. So like I said, this is the Patrick Ta Major Sculpt Cream and Powder Bronzer Duo. So this product comes in three shades. I have mine here in the shade She Sculpted, which is the medium shade. So there's one lighter than this, and then there's also one darker than this. Each of these retails for $38, and with that you get 0.24 ounces of the cream product, and then 0.32 ounces of the powder bronzer. So I'm just going to read a little bit of the product information on the Sephora website. So it says, a modern way to sculpt the face, this cream and powder contouring duo effortlessly shapes and defines for a beautifully dimensional look. Major Sculpt Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo is a luminous cream and powder duo in complementary shades. The lighter cream shade shapes and defines while talc-free powder finishes with a hint of warmth. Okay, so one thing I will say, I don't know what they mean about the lighter cream shade. I feel like personally the cream shade on this was a little bit darker and I'll show you all in a minute when I show you the swatch what I mean, but I definitely agree with this. Cream shade is definitely really good at helping to contour and define the face while while the powder shade is really good at helping to warm the skin up. So looking here on the website, some things about the product that stand out is it's supposed to give buildable coverage, it's fully pigmented, it's supposed to have long lasting extended wear. It says it has a luminous finish. I don't necessarily know about that. So far it's currently sitting a little matte on me, but that's okay. I am a little bit more of an oily skin type, so hopefully that just means it'll hold up well throughout the day. It's also cruelty free, free of sulfates, parabens, vegan, gluten free. So looking here in the application section, they don't really elaborate too much on how to use the bronzer. They do say for the cream contour to take their contour brush and grab some of the product and then with a gentle stamping motion to blend it in where you want to add definition. I did go ahead and watch the demo video just to have a little bit of an idea of how to actually apply this product and basically in the video what he did was he took a sculpting brush and applied the cream contour in the hollows of the cheek and then took more of like a fluffy brush to go ahead and apply the powder bronzer and he just kind of tapped that around the perimeter and so that's basically what I did to apply the product. I went ahead and took a separate sculpt brush to go ahead and stamp the cream contour here and the hollows of my cheek and a little bit down the side of the nose as well and then I went ahead and took more of a fluffy brush to go ahead and just tap the powder bronzer into the perimeter of my face and this is what the final result looks like I think it looks pretty natural it blended in pretty seamlessly with my foundation and it added a nice warmth to the skin and as well I do have a little bit of definition going on here in the cheeks and as you can see my nose does look a little bit more sculpted as well where I threw on the cream so I really love how these products are able to complement each other I love that I am still able to see a little bit of that cream contour and I do still have a little bit of shadow and depth. The bronzer was also able to go over those areas and warm up the skin as well. And it doesn't look cakey or powdery anywhere on the skin. Everything blended on pretty seamlessly. I don't want to talk about it too much. I did go ahead and do a demo so I will get into that for y'all. But before I get into the demo, I do just want to go ahead. I did swatch the product on my arm so y'all have an idea of what the shade looks like on my complexion. So looking here on my arm, as you can see, there's two shades here. There's a little bit of a warmer shade on the left here and that is the powder bronzer. And then on the right here there's a little bit more of a cool toned swatch and that is the cream contour so that's what it looks like swatch heavy on my arm just so you have an idea of the color payoff and what this looks like on my complexion but yeah that's all I really have to say about the product like I said they didn't go too in depth with the product info they really just touched on the basics I'm really excited to go ahead and get into this demo and show you all how it applies so I'm gonna go ahead and quit rambling now we're gonna go ahead and get into the demo portion of the video all right y'all I'm so ready to get into this review and demo for y'all y'all don't even know but before we get into it though y'all know the drill we got to go through my off-camera skincare and makeup routine real quick just so y'all have an idea of what's going on on my face so that if when we apply the product it looks funny y'all have an idea of what's going on underneath so that we could decide whether it was the product itself or whether it was my off-camera skincare and makeup so real quick going through everything I went ahead and washed my face and then right out the shower I used this Purito Centella unscented 
toner. This just helps to go ahead and calm the skin. It also helps to hydrate the skin and prep it so that it can optimally absorb the rest of my skincare steps. After I went ahead and applied the toner all over my face, I went ahead and went in with this Naturium Niacinamide Gel Cream 5%. This is my trusty daytime moisturizer. We got niacinamide in here to help regulate sebum production and help improve the appearance of enlarged pores, among other things. And then this also contains silicones, which help to smooth the skin, help to fill in pores, and give a blurred appearance, which helps to provide a good base to apply makeup. For my sunscreen today, I'm using this Etude House Sun Prize Mild Watery Light Sunscreen SPF 50 PA3+. This provides pretty good sun protection and it has a nice natural skin-like finish. It's not greasy like American sunscreens tend to be. It's really nice and lightweight and you can use a lot of it. It won't look shiny at all on your skin. It won't break you out. So I've been loving this recently as my sunscreen. And then for my foundation, I just went ahead and used this Merit The Minimalist Foundation and Concealer 2-in-1. Now I use this shade Camel. I just went ahead and applied some all over my face like a foundation and then buffed it in with a Real Techniques brush. So that's my off-camera skincare makeup routine. That's all I really got going on right now. So with that out of the way, I'm ready to go ahead and get into this application. I'm really excited to get into it for y'all. So today I'm going to be demonstrating the shade She Sculpted. So that's the medium shade out of the three shades in this bronzer. As you can see here, I already went ahead and messed with it a little bit. So I have an idea what the shade's going to look like, but I haven't tried it on the face yet. So I'm really excited to go ahead and get into that for y'all. So as you can see here, we got two pans. We have a cream pan up here. This is a little bit more cool tone. And this is supposed to be like a contour a sculpt shade. And then this down here is a powder and it's got a a little bit more warmth to it and that's supposed to be more of a bronzing shade so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the contouring cream I'm gonna go ahead and take this brush I don't know what it's called exactly I got it from shop miss a that place that has one dollar makeup but it has a nice shape to go ahead and hug the cheekbone so I'm gonna go ahead and use this to kind of just stipple on the contour shade right up in the hollows of the cheekbones okay so i went in a little bit heavy on this cheek i'll go ahead and blend that out a little bit more but look at this cheek that's such a nice little like contour I'm gonna go ahead and just take a tiny bit and run it down the sides of my nose as well to kind of like shape that up since it is a contouring shade so, so far, this is what we're looking like. I applied the cream contour. I just went ahead and applied some in the hollows of the cheek and then just a tiny bit down the sides of the nose to kind of shape that up a little bit since it is a contour. I kind of just want to see what it can do. And honestly, looking here in the mirror in front of me, this is a really nice contour shade. It has a nice cool tone to it, but it's not like a gray toned, if that makes sense. I've had some contours where they're very cool toned and they turn out a little bit gray on the skin. This one still has a nice natural skin like color to it, but it does add a little bit of depth. It has that cool tone to it and add some shadow without looking gray. I feel like I could have gone a little bit lighter on the cheekbones. I really just barely dipped it in when I went to do the contour for the nose and honestly that shaped my nose right up. I'd say with this a little bit does go a long way so it is buildable. I would recommend probably using a little bit less than you think you need but this is what we look like so far. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go on with the bronzing shade to warm up my skin. I'm taking this elf airbrush stipple brush and I'm just gonna swirl that in the pan and I'm just gonna basically tap it on anywhere where I I want to bronze up my skin a little bit that's how he was applying it in the demo video so I'm just gonna go ahead and just gently tap it on to the areas where I need a little bit more warmth All right, y'all, so this is everything all applied. I went ahead and bronzed up the perimeter of my face, ran some along the bridge of my nose as well, here on the chin, down my neck, and applied some to my ears as well, just so that everything blended seamlessly. So this is what everything looks like, bronze all over the face, and then contour here in the hollows of the cheek and down the sides of the nose. Looking here in the mirror, I love how these two products layer. The bronzer definitely did a good job of warming up the perimeter of my face, but when I look here in the mirror, I am still able to see some of that cool tone peeking through here in the hollows of the cheek and down the bridge of my nose so I do still have some of that sculpt going on I don't know that I would necessarily sculpt my face every time I use it just because I prefer a bronzer over a contour but I do like that these two products were complementary to each other and that the contour is not washed out by the bronzer and vice versa as for the bronzing shade itself first of all the powder blended out really well I was really impressed with that it doesn't look powdery sitting on the skin it blended in seamlessly it does have a matte finish there's really no shine or anything coming off my face right now where I've applied the bronzer. It's all completely matte. So as far as the color of the bronzer, it is a nice 
nice bronzing shade. It is on the warm side, but it's not pulling orangey or unnatural. It does just look like, you know, naturally tan skin. I also love that it's buildable. It's not accentuating any pores, fine lines, texture, anything like that. If anything, I feel like my skin here, especially in the cheek area, has been blurred out since I applied this. So yeah, all in all, I'm impressed with how this looks. I love this bronzing shade. And even though I'm not necessarily the hugest fan of contour, I do appreciate the contour shade in this. I like how it looks on the skin and I like how it meshes with the bronzing powder as well. All in all, I'm really impressed with how this bronzer looks. I was in love with Patrick Todd products from the moment I tried his cream and powder blush duo. And when I saw that he was releasing a bronzer, I knew I had to get my hands on it. I will do a little bit of a wear test for y'all just to see how this holds up on the face and how it wears throughout the day. So currently it is around 12 p.m. It is the middle of the day and this is what we're looking like. I have a pretty chill day today. I do have a couple things I need to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then when I come back, I'll check in with y'all in a few hours and show y'all how it wore throughout the day and whether or not I still recommend the product at the end of a full day's wear. All right, y'all. So I'm back to do a final check-in and get my final impressions on the product. Currently, it is about 6 p.m. So it has been six hours since we first applied the bronzer. And this is what we're looking like six hours later. So I'm actually really impressed. First of all, looking here in the mirror, this has managed to do a really good job of helping to keep the excess shine away. Here in the center of my face, I am getting a little bit shiny, but here in the perimeter, especially where I've applied the bronzer, it is a tiny bit more luminous, but there's really not all that oil peeking through like I normally have after around six hours of wear. So I'm really impressed with that. Everything is still looking really beautiful on the skin. Again, the contour and the bronzer still are meshing beautifully here on the cheeks and here on the nose. I do still see some of that contour shade peeking through, but the bronzing shade is also sitting beautifully on top. They've meshed wonderfully into one product. Nothing's looking cakey or powdery at all here on the face. And everything is still looking nice and smooth how I applied it. Nothing's breaking up at all. I don't see any cracking. It hasn't faded at all. I still have the same amount of bronze going on as I did when I first applied the product. And I'm even impressed too with how my skin's looking. It still looks very smoothed over. Even around this point when my oils start to peek through, even if the makeup itself isn't breaking up, a lot of the time the texture of my skin does become a little bit more accentuated and you can see some of the pores and stuff like that peeking through but actually it's still smoothed over those pretty well and those are still pretty well blurred out this product did claim to have a nice long wear finish and it really does live up to that claim it lasted well for a good six hours it still looks basically the same as I applied it it's a little bit more luminous but not too much like I said it's done a good job of keeping the oils in control it hasn't faded at all it's not breaking up so like I said I was really impressed with Patrick Todd products when I tried out his cream and powder blush duo and when I realized was releasing a duo that was the same concept but it was a bronzer I knew I had to pick it up and I'm really glad that I did I'm really impressed with the performance of this product I think it looks beautiful on my oily skin it lasted well throughout the day it's nice and buildable the contour and the bronzer shade complement each other well and they don't interfere with each other like I said the contour does still peek through the bronzer doesn't wash it out and vice versa so all in all I'm really impressed with this product if y'all have your eyes on this product and you're on the fence about whether or not you want to buy it I would definitely recommend giving it a try with that being said that is the end of this review I hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did be sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up let me know down in the comments what you liked about this video what you dislike let me know if y'all have any requests for any reviews on any makeup products or just any video requests in general leave those down in the comments below so i can keep that in mind when i'm sitting down and thinking of things to film like i said if you haven't already just be sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell button as well so that you can get a notification every time i upload a new video and with that being said i should be back shortly with new content bye